so relaxing. Oh, oh, hello everyone. Welcome. My name is Bad Code. How's everybody doing? <laughs> We're back at it in the middle of the city. Uh, touching grass, as you can see. And today we're going to be talking about multi jobs on uh, Qbox, which is quite interesting because it, it already is built in. So we don't have to install anything too violent, too particular to get it to work. All we just probably need is a nice UI for it. Uh, we're going to choose a simpler one. There are better ones, but this one does what, it, what it's supposed to do and you'll have multi jobs right into your server and that'll be fun. So let's check out our VPS server. First, uh, first off, um, you should go to your server directory, which is FX server. I have it Qbox because I made name it Qbox, but if you only have one, the default server is just via uh, FX server. You need to go to your config, server config, and alter a few things. Just edit it with your favorite editor. Uh, around line 24, you should be coming around to all these nice little variable settings and the ones we want to play around is right here these max jobs per player it's only set at one we can only place one uh, let's make this interesting we can put it at two but in this case let's put it at three gangs i would definitely say just one As for replacing, uh, this one should be set to true, so we only have one, but this one, I don't think it should be set to true, let's just read the text. When true, the set job function deletes the previous primary job of the player before setting the new one. So we're not going to use set job, we're going to use add job, so set job should substitute the one that you're doing uh, I don't know it's up to you guys what you want to do uh, probably place it at false but the important one is this one right here the max jobs per player it was set at one we want it at three and this is set save it we are also going to change something else. Go into your resource directory. Uh, QBX. I think it's core. Server. And there should be something called player.lua. Also edit this. At the beginning. Same thing. Put it to three. You can max out the server for how many jobs, but you can also max max this one to a different one. But we want it at three. So save this. Uh, sadly, we're gonna have to restart the server for this to start working. We'll get to that in a few seconds. So we need a UI for this. There is no UI, you have to use commands, set job, add job, and all that, at least that I know of. I don't, I haven't seen anything. So, I did find this one. Randall multi-job. It's quite simple. There is a, a QB core and a QBX version. Make sure you're, you're using the QBX one, because that's what we're using. Uh, the only thing, as I said, we're going to have to change, make sure these things are, are there in the player and in, in the config, the server config. We just altered those, so 
we're, we're ready just to install this. So just download it. Download the zip. Uh, it should appear in our download folder. Let's check it out. Nah, nah, nah. Here it is. Open it up. Copy it. And place it in the directory we're going to create. To make it simpler, separate your QBXs from the things you, you install. Create a folder with the, with the brackets, like I did there, and call it whatever you want, QBX extras, and paste it in here. Uh, as for the name, you can remove QBox. Just put it ran, Randall Multi Jobs in here. You, I don't think you have to alter anything. Let's check the config file to see if there's any. It's just the names of the jobs. If you add a new job, you have to add it in here and what it's called. I'm assuming. that you have to add it here. Gangs also. So don't change anything if you don't know what you're doing. As for the rest, uh, you have to go to your config file, the server config, this one, this one, and alter something. Uh, you have to add the, re the ensure the new directory that you created and sure the name you gave it I gave it QBX um, extras save it you're gonna have to restart your server this is something core based because you did change a few things on um, this was from the last video let's put it like this uh, you can restart here, but it's not going to work. <laughs> Might as well just start the whole server. You're, it's not going to work, period. Restart it. Let's check if if it gives any errors. Here it is. It started. And it worked, so it's working. Let's reload the server client. Okay. Let's check out. Uh, I think the key is F10. Oh, there it is. We do have mechanic. It's already on duty. So let's try to add a new one. Let's say we want to be a police officer. Uh, we're going to use add job because we don't want set job because set job substitutes the one that you have police three f10 okay we have two of them we are a mechanic and now we are a police officer and we can add another one just I think it's ambulance. F10 again. Here we go. Oh, the steely button. It's a little dangerous. Does it ask you if you want to violate it? No, it doesn't. It just. <laughs> Straight out deletes it. Oh, that's not good. I should ask a question. But be careful with the delete. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. It should be... should ask you a question. Are you sure you want to delete it? Uh, but as you can see, it is working. And there you have it. 
a simple way to start off the multi-job situation on your server with a simple UI. Uh, you should probably be careful and probably warn your, your players that not to delete it, uh, your, your jobs, or add the code. I don't know if I can add the code, maybe, maybe do an extra video of changing some code or just place it in the issues box. It's not an issue, but it does cause a little stress for the, for the players if they accidentally delete it. So yeah, there it is. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, this quick video. Uh, leave a like if you did, and even if you didn't, <laughs> subscribe and hit that notification button if you want to be informed of new videos. Uh, I will be doing more uh, QBox and QBCore, both and other things on the channel. I won't warn people about other things or the subscribers yet because most of the subscribers are more GTA based than other things so you won't get annoyed of other other videos that are, aren't related to uh, GTA but I will be doing other things like uh, seven days to die normal coding uh, and all that because I do think it's interesting to spread my eh, not so good knowledge to all you people that don't know anything <laughs> So that way we have uh, a bare minimum of, of programming. So again, if you have any comments and suggestions, place them down below. I will read them. And uh, if there are questions about code based, I would probably suggest you go down to the Discord and ask there. There's a special channel for support. Uh, because I can't actually respond too well with the message inside YouTube comments. And that is it. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.